Hot on the heels of the last Assassin's Creed 2 DLC, Bonfire of the Vanities has come to complete Ezio's missing memory sequences. Florence has been overrun by one bad news monk and his nine lieutenants, and it's up to you to take them out. Sure, this isn't exactly how the Bonfire of the Vanities happened, but we'll let historical accuracy slide. All that you need to know is that there are more people to kill, and killing is what Ezio does best. Like we ask at Impace. There was a third man. We took the apple. Ooh. Like the Battle of Four Lee before it, Bonfire doesn't reinvent Assassin's Creed 2. The graphics and gameplay are largely the same as the first game. However, there are some odd audio problems that pop up. The sound crackles sometimes, and the lip syncing doesn't always match up. In addition, there seems to be missing audio in a small number of cutscenes. Also, you don't get the setup that the Battle of Four Lee DLC has. There's no scene explaining that the corrupted memory has been repaired. Bonfire seems to assume you played the previous DLC. Thankfully, the missions are a lot of fun. Whereas the Battle of Four Lee threw a bunch of escort missions at us, Bonfire is all about the assassinations. That's my favorite part of Assassin's Creed, and if you're not tired of sneaking up on bad guys and executing them, you'll have a good time here. The missions are also varied, so don't think you'll be doing the same thing over and over. Sometimes you'll have to kill without being seen, sometimes you'll have to fight waves of troops, there's a good mix of objectives. Springboards have been added to rooftops to add more variety to Ezio's free running. Also there are new viewpoints to discover, and Templar layers to run through. This DLC is roughly twice as large as Battle of Four Lee, but unfortunately it still doesn't add new achievements or trophies. Like the previous DLC, the Bonfire of the Vanities isn't a must-play. It doesn't make any daring changes to the game or present new mysteries. However, it is a fun little side story that adds more of what fans already love. So if you're craving more assassinations, Bonfire of the Vanities is an easy buy for you. For more info on the game, including the written review, head on over to IGN.com.